Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're gonna be installing the Gator ETX bed cover for my Ford F-150. Um, I'm gonna try and knock it out by myself. Should be very simple. I took a look at the um, instructions. Um, it's not that hard. It is the soft roll-up cover. Um, <clears throat> I went back and forth um, on which one I should get. Should I get the trifold? Should I get the soft? Um, should I get the the roll up ones with the aluminum slats that, you know, kind of like a hard cover? Uh, but I decided to just go with the roll up cover for right now. One, it's not as expensive. And two, I just don't feel like I don't want the trifold because I want to be able to use the entire bed. And I know you have some trifold covers where you can roll it up and put it against the window but you're not actually advised to drive with it up on the freeway or anything like that. So it's mainly, I really wanted to be able to use the entire bed if I needed to and not have to worry about, hey, I'm gonna have to take a whole ton of cover off before I do something. So that's why I went with the soft roll up and I found the Gator one on Amazon I did take a look at um, American Truck website. They had some stuff on there, but it had a better deal on YouTube. I'll try to put the link in the description below, but it's the Gator ETX soft toner cover. So um, let's go. Let's see uh, how long it takes me to do this one. All right. All right, first thing, so we gotta do is the instruction says, so you get these pieces in, um, the materials bag and it says you got to stick these on each end of the um the driver and passenger side rails so that's what we're going to do so as you can see they're angled so you just got to match the angle with the pieces all right and uh just gotta hold them up and match the angles make sure that the angles fit properly and then you just peel and stick so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then go from there All right, so make sure that you're looking at, so their angle both do different ways. So see how one have the thing on this side and this side. So I was trying to put this one like that, but it wasn't the right angle. So this one, if you can tell, it's the right angle for that one. All right. Flip this one around. And then this one goes right here. All right. The next one. Put that side. All 
All right, and that's step two. So step one was just really unboxing. And that's it for step one. All right, so next we're gonna put the bed rails in. Um, they gave you the, the clamps right here. Um, you're gonna need a 9 16th socket with the wrench and a half inch socket with the wrench. Um, and then you're gonna put it in like such. Um, so when you do it, you wanna make sure that the bed rail is horizontal with your bed. All right, don't make sure it's not like this. All right, so make sure it's horizontal and you are compressed with the gasket that we placed earlier to the tailgate, all right? So you want this part to be straight, all right? That's how you want it to sit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the clamps out and then start clamping it. All right, so it took me about five to six minutes to kind of get this one side on. So doing it by yourself, you're gonna try and level it. But what the instruction tells you to do, like again, like I said, this has to be horizontal. So when you put it in, just make sure this the sides are not lower than the other. And this part is flush. -ish. All right, and then you tighten up your clamps underneath. You have three of them on each side. So this is the one side down, we'll do the next one. All right, so I finished with the rails. All right, it took a little longer than I expected. I actually had to get my wife to come out and help me hold it. Because what you want to make sure that you're doing is, like I said, this area up here needs to be level, right? And then you also have to put slight tension on the bumper on the tailgate. Right there. So what was happening was every time I tighten the one close to the tailgate and then I lifted this side up to tighten it, that one would fall. So I had to have her or have someone, if you're doing it, try to have someone hold one end while you tighten this end. And then when the forward and aft end was thin, then I just did the center myself. Um, note, just to make, just make sure that you try to, wherever you put the clamp on one side, you kind of try to mimic it on the other side. So they're, at least in my thought, they're being uh, stabilized on the same um, length. Uh, next thing you had to do was you put the tension device in on both sides. So it tells you in the instruction, um, uh, it's numbered. So you have one, four, two, and three. So number one is the big, most tension and four is the least. So I'm starting it on number two. And uh, so you'll put it like this, which whatever tension you want on the top forward. So I'm starting with number two and whatever side you put one on, you have to do it the opposite side. So I did two on both sides. So next what we're gonna do is um, get uh, the tunnel cover and we gotta insert the bolts into that side. All right, so next thing we gotta do is I put the bolts in the tunnel cover and then in, on top of the rail on both sides. So the next thing you're gonna do is tighten on the bolts with the hardware that was given. And that one you're gonna use the 9 16th socket set. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down and then continue. So um, I'm done, but I wanna go over a couple of things with you guys uh, that I noticed and I had to kinda figure out why it wasn't fitting properly. So the first thing is when you put your tensioning, um, I started off on, like I told you guys, one, but actually it was too tight. It wasn't even um, going all the way up when I was rolling it. So I switched it back to what the, when you're on the, um, what's it called? On the instructions, it was telling you start with four. So that's what I did. And then another thing I ended up having to figure out was when you put the bolts in, it has a lot of play. The grooves is pretty wide. So I did it all the way to the back of the truck. But when I rolled it, again, it wasn't going all the way forward. So what you need to do is, when you place your tension devices, 
you need the frame of the, the actual cover to be butted up to that. And then you tighten down the bolts, all right? Um, so that's the first thing you wanna make sure. And then go back again to ensuring that your grooves, your, your actual rails are leveled because what I ended up noticing was when I was done and I was closing it, it wasn't latching, right? And I was going back and forth like, why is it not latching and stuff like that? And I realized this side was lower than the, um, that side. So the, the, this part right here, it was a couple inches lower, not even maybe a little bit lower, and it wasn't latching on there. But yeah, um, so just make sure that this part is up high enough for when you latch it, it um, latches all the way. And then this part right here, so this is how you secure it. You have this piece, and then when you put it in, it latches to this groove right here. And that's that on both sides. All right, so roll it up. So you guys can see. So it, they recommend that you close the tailgate before you close your tunnel cover. And that's because of the, the um, gasket that's on the top of this that you need to make sure is uh, this piece right here needs to be uh, on actual tailgate when it sits, okay? Uh, another thing, well, let me, let's put it on first so I can show you guys how it fits. All right, and then you close it down. All right, so you need, you gotta push it down on both sides. So that's why the camera was like that. But you close it down like that and then you have this gasket seal right here that protects the water from coming in your tailgate. All right, and then this is number four and it's pretty tight. So I'm probably gonna leave it on four. And the next thing it recommends is you come around the sides and you press down on the Velcro pieces, right? So there's a gasket on this back end and then the gasket on this end. And then you just push down on the Velcro pieces and that's that, all right? It looks pretty good. I like it. It's really, it's kind of a low profile, right? From the side. So no complaints there. My son and them are playing outside but yeah overall i i like the cover so far um one complaint that i do have is just this piece right here right this goes into the groove but this is really loose so every time you're putting it in if you're not putting it in straight it's gonna kind of pop out i might super glue it in there but we'll see um I don't think I need, I think the only reason you would take this out is if you need to remove this, um, but we'll see. Other than that, that's it. Really easy install. It took me total because of figuring out the tension device thing and this part not being level. Um, it took me a little while longer. And like I said, I had to get my wife to kind of help me hold up the piece, but I say it probably took me about 30, 35 minutes to kind of get everything in there. And overall, I like it. So if you like the content, you know, hit the like button. Thanks for joining me on another F-150 mod and more and more to come. Uh, if you want to get notified when I drop another video, hit the bell icon and hit subscribe if you like the video. All right. Thank you.